Hi guys, I'm just um, sorting out some of my paints and I got a lot of leftovers. So I just thought I would show you how you can save some money on paints. And these are just little bottles of craft paint that you can use in your paintings. And uh, this one's almost empty. So what I did was I bought some paint from the hardware store. Just semi-gloss, uh, probably you can get it in acrylic or latex base and it's uh, just as good. For me it is, and here's what I'm going to do. I just took a stick, and I'm just going to put some paint in my bowel, and fill it up. And you pay about $15 for your can of paint, your gallon of paint, and you get a lot of use out of it. And it saves you money on these uh, bottles that are $2 at some stores and more at others, and sometimes you might be lucky to get them for a dollar, but still it can add up. So this could save you some, some time and money. Having to run out and look for some. It's a bit messy, but it's all fun. Okay. I also want to show you. I'm just making a bit of a mess here now because I'm trying to show you. I was doing this earlier and I wasn't making so much of a mess. So please forgive me. All right. So let me just. So now then you can have a full bottle of white paint for a lot less. Then also what I did was I took some leftover blue paint, there was some blue paint left over in this, and I added white to it. And then I got a lighter blue, so then I just took the blue paint and put it on the top here so I'd know that it's not this color, but it's actually a lighter blue. And that way you can have lots of light blues and make your own colors. This one here, I had some black left over, and I added some white to it, so because I wanted to make my own gray, so now I can have my own grays. I can have a lighter gray than that if I want to, just by adding a bit more white. So what it is, these would be just a small amount left in them, so you just lift them up, and you can tell that they're almost empty, and then you just add white to them, and you get a lighter color green or a lighter color red or just as long as you put it on the top here so that you can see what color you got done. I'm, I haven't done this yet but I'm thinking I'd like to try and make my own orange color. So I'm going to take an almost empty yellow bottle. Here's one. It's almost empty. Well, just a minute. And I'm going to take some red paint and I'm going to see if I can make my own orange. So let's do that for a bit of fun. I haven't done this yet. So this should be fun. So experiment with your old bottles of paint. Tubes are a little harder but uh, the only you need is some bottles. So let's just try this for fun. Let's take some red and put it into the yellow. Touch. Now some red going in there. Let's try that much first because you can always experiment with it. Some of these, if you leave them too long, they'll dry up on you and they'll just turn into gook. Okay. So let's take our top and shake it up and see what color comes out. All right. Let's see what happens. That's not too bad. Not too bad. So if you want to keep that, or you can add more yellow or more red to it. Let's see if we can make a nice purple color. So purple is red and blue. So let's take red and blue and put that together. So I'll just squeeze some blue in here just to see, because there's so many different purples you can get. So many. So let's just see what happens here. Okay. Let's see. Magic. Oh, that's a burgundy. That's nice too. Look. That's really pretty. But I want a purple. So I'm going to add more blue. And I'm um, going to tell you, I'm not going to do a lot of it today, but 
I'm going to tell you some different colors that you can put together to make some nice browns and just so many different colors. If you put these blue and red together, you're going to get a, a, a mixed different amounts. You're going to get all kinds of different purples and burgundies. And it's just amazing. So all you need is bottles, leftover bottles like this, I'm sure. If you're into painting, you have tons of them. So this is, might be a nice dark purple. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. It's awful blue, is it? Something going on here. I think the blue is stuck up at the top. Oh, that's a nice purple. Look. Now oh, that's nice. So, I'm going to keep that one. That's a keeper. So that's it for now, and like I said, you can put white in there, left over black, and have make some color grays, and um, just so many other ones. I'll probably, I'm going to have a look at this video, see how it came out, and then I'm going to set it up, and then I'll show you some more colors. So hopefully this is a bit of a help to you today, and my name is Allison Pryor, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.